the mystery Welcome to the great I am Welcome to the family Of the living and the angel band Welcome to all us sinners and saints Welcome to believers and to those who ain't Welcome to the mystery Welcome to the family the mystery Welcome to the great Welcome. Welcome to you familiar faces and you who just stumbled in. Welcome to you who are lovers of music, poetry, and God, and to you who have never quite seen those three things together. Welcome to the queer and the straight, the young and the old, and the shy and the bold. Welcome to believers, questioning believers, and outright disbelievers. Welcome to you seeking meaning, connection, or retreat. Welcome to Old South Church in Boston and this virtual jazz coffee house, featuring the Willie Sordillo Ensemble. We're glad you tuned in tonight. Let us know who is here by filling out our virtual friendship pad, a link to which is posted in the chat. There are many ways to get involved in the life of our church community. I invite you to visit oldsouth.org for the latest updates on all of our weekly happenings. One way to jump in right now to our life together is to support these virtual ministries of beauty, justice, and mercy. You can do so by hovering your cursor over the video and clicking the donate button, or by going to oldsouth.org slash donate. Welcome. Today's word is sacrifice. Sacrifice, meaning to suffer loss of, give up, renounce, injure, or destroy, especially for an ideal, belief, or end. The Latin term sacrificium, a sacrifice, derived from Latin sacrificius, meaning performing priestly functions, which combined with the concepts sacra, sacred things, or facere, to do or perform. The term usually implies doing without something or giving something up. But the word sacrifice also occurs in metaphorical use to describe doing good for others or taking a short-term loss in return for a greater power gain. When I think of sacrifice, I think of my grandparents' generation, who during World War II rationed, lost, and gave up, all to aid the fight against evil. 
I think about those black and brown persons from the time of slavery to civil rights in 1960s to those on the front lines of the Black Lives Matter movement now who are risking, demanding, pushing for freedom for all. And I think about the binding of Isaac, the turtle doves Mary and Joseph brought to the temple, the suffering and death of Jesus. But right now, the first thing I think about is the sacrifices we have all made in this time of pandemic. Some voluntary and quite simple in the grand scheme of things, like giving up vacations, wearing masks, staying home, and others not so voluntary and deeply painful, like losing jobs, canceling weddings, not visiting, not hugging our loved ones. Sacrifice is difficult and painful regardless of its end. We are all sacrificing a lot right now, and some more than others. So let us use this time of music and reflection to hold before God and one another that which we have all greatly sacrificed and know that we do not make this sacrifice alone.
each and every day March up freedom's highway March each and every day Theologian Frederick Beekner 
writes this about sacrifice. To sacrifice something is to make it holy by giving it away for love. That, in fact, is what the ancient Israelites intended by sacrificing animals to God. For the ancient Israelites, as for other nomadic and agrarian peoples, animals were everything, food and wealth and security. Thus, to sacrifice something so precious as an animal, to sacrifice such to God, was to make it holy by giving it away for love. Even so, our Bible is ambivalent about animal sacrifice. In some places, it is solemnly enjoined as a positive divine requirement. In other passages, however, God rejects animal sacrifice, aching for the sacrifice not of animals, but of our hearts. In a similar vein, the New Testament places emphasis on spiritual sacrifice in this sense. Every action of a Christian's life has the capacity, when performed in faith, when performed with purity of heart, to be a sacrificial offering acceptable to God. To sacrifice something is to make it holy by giving it away for love.
day is a day of thanksgiving. God's been so good to me. Every day God's blessing me. Every day is a day of thanksgiving. Take the time to glow. I light this candle for God's good creation, for the creatures of the earth and sea and sky, groaning under the weight of human industry and imperiled 
by our wanton ways. I light this candle for God's whole world, that those who bear responsibility for its future in politics, in industry, in commerce, in education and communication may be inspired to work together for the establishment of justice, freedom, and peace everywhere. I light this candle for all in special need, the sick, the anxious, the lonely, the fearful, and the bereaved. And let the people say, Amen. Hi, my name is Anushka Patil, and I, with the other social justice interns, Mira Donaldson, Ava Hawkins, and Lisa Lopez, will be conducting a census webinar to inform the public on why it is important to take the census in 2020. We are working with City Mission Boston, which is a nonprofit organization that works to prevent homelessness in the Boston area, as well as spread awareness about the racism that is taking place in our country and our world. We hope that you can attend our census webinar on August 7, 2020, but if you can't, in this video we will be providing you some of the most important informational aspects about the census to make sure that you are accounted for. Hi everyone, my name is Ava Hawkins and here are some basic facts you need to know about the census. The 2020 census is an official count or survey of the population, typically recorded every 10 years. The U.S. Census Bureau collects information from every household and combines the data to make key policy and budget decisions. Personal information gathered from the census is completely confidential and purely used for, for statistical purposes. Overall, the count determines distribution of $675 billion of federal funds, grant support to states, counties, communities, and seats in Congress. Thank you. The census is important for many reasons. For instance, it determines the funding that schools, hospitals, and fire departments should receive. It also supports services and helps plan new homes and businesses that will be useful to the community. And lastly, it determines the number of seats that each state gets in the House of Representatives. Not completing the census could mean that your local neighborhood is losing access to the necessary funds and your state is losing representation in the House of Representatives. So the question is, how do we fill out the 2020 census? To fill out the 2020 census, you can go to 2020census.gov and press the icon that says fill out questionnaire and fill out the responding questions. You can also 
fill out the 2020 census by mail by mailing back the questionnaire given to you by mail and following the instructions given. And there's also access via your phone. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day and don't forget to fill out the 2020 census.